Yeah, I feel a little pretty small around these gigantic machines. They have a 12 of them are going to compete this weekend. You got Mohawk, the Mohawk man down there, Mohawk Warrior. Yeah, that's it. It's got the Mohawk on top. Hard to miss that one. Then you have Dragonoid here, kind of a fierce looking front end. But I, I can't hear you. Can you not hear me? Check one, two. Check, check, check. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Uh, we got Gravedigger behind us. 41 years this monster truck has been performing on the Monster Jam circuit. And let's welcome in the driver, Adam Anderson. Good morning, Adam. Well, this must be a family tradition. It absolutely is. My dad started this uh, back in the 80s, and this has been my entire life. You know, I've been here in the parking lot my entire life growing up at the stadium, whether it was the Astrodome and now here at NRG, man. I'm glad to be back, though. Well, we're glad to have you back. Now, we want to show you a little video of a rival actually doing some laps around here earlier. He wasn't doing any jumps or flips or anything like that, and that's because the proper safety personnel to be able to do those weren't here. What are the dangers of the sport? You know, it, uh, it's honestly, it's, it's more dangerous, I feel, walking down the sidewalk around here, but uh, it actually, if you want to go inside the truck and we kind of show you all the safety precautions that we take, that us as drivers in there competing, we're not scared about anything or worried about not, nothing. And uh, But at the same time, we want it to be the safest, family-friendly event that you could ever attend. You're saying I could actually maybe get up in the truck? If, if you think you can. Okay, that's that's the question. How tall is this truck? The, the truck's 12 foot, or 10 foot tall, and it's 12 foot wide, and it weighs 12,000 pounds. Okay, well, if we have video up, take it down, because what you're about to see could be quite funny. Hopefully not. I'm not going to fall, right? Right. Well, there's no guarantee. Let me take this. Let okay. me see this here. Let me take over here. And in other news, the anchor has just fallen out of the truck. Thanks. I'm just kidding. Good luck. So, no, honestly, on the side of the truck, it's built kind of like a ladder. Uh, Gravedigger is one of the few trucks that does have a door on it, but so uh, you did pretty Pretty good. That was a nice approach. Yeah. Well, uh, what all are uh, what all are we seeing here, safety-wise, in this cab? All right, so actually, if you're, well, he's not sitting in the seat right there. There's one single seat right in the center of the truck, so it makes visibility so much better. The seat is a full containment seat wrapped all the way around you. There's seven belts in there that actually attach all the way around your entire body. Um, and yes, that is that is the steering wheel. We're going to need that later. Um, and uh, the air condition does not work, and there is not cruise control. Well, I don't know how you uh, can do all this. It's quite the tricks, but I uh, appreciate you being out here and working with us today. Thanks very much, guys. Can't wait to see everybody this weekend. That's right. Saturday, tomorrow, the event starts at 7 o'clock here at NRG. The doors open at 5.30. There's some pregame festivities starting at 6. There's also a fan fest for 20 extra dollars worth it. You can meet drivers like Andy. It's going to be from 2.30 until 5.30 here at NRG. So come on out. Bring the family. It's going to be lots of fun.